Hi everyone and a very warm welcome back to the monthly of Warner Autonomy from SD League. Today we have our second game with Hippie and Fantix. Fantix over on the right in blue playing as the third armoured. And over on the left in red we have Hippie playing as the first armoured division. Finally he's playing as the British again. Even if he does have that French flag. Let's have a look at what everyone's got down before it starts. I know people are keen for this. So scouts up the front. Two squads of scouts there. Sorry, a squad of scouts and an M150 of all things with a tow launcher and an M150 with a tow launcher here. I haven't seen those used in a while. I think the reason being is tow launchers are okay, but once you start talking about lots of heavy tanks, they're just not up to snuff. They get popped too quickly. Uh, down here we have a CV and a fire team, so very little being sent to the top for Fantix. Apache rocket attack down here and quite a bit of infantry and one M1A1 Abrams. Pretty much not, doesn't seem like a huge force, does it? So all of these will be going over this way, obviously. He will want to take Alpha and then these just kind of getting into that back corner. Over at the other side we have Hippie. So we have SAS patrols really far forward here. Obviously, they're going to get into those buildings. SAS patrols, we can have a quick look at there. They do have satchel charges, very good at close range against infantry. Got a fox heading up that way as well. Down the center, heading to this area, interestingly, and sort of up to this sort of side bit. We've got some recon and some Rover Milan paras. Again, these guys forward deployable and a sniper team again forward deployable with that parachute will be going up to here he's not sending a lot to the top at that section at least down here he does have a chieftain mark 9 a warrior milan with some troops in and a rover command vehicle so basically a small force the same as fantix for the top there down the bottom however rover command vehicle he's got javelin lml's he's got pioneer squads he's got rifles he's got a cheetah mark 9 rapier and a mortar so i mean he's going in quite heavy to the bottom here there's going to be a proper fight over this town that apache rocket is immediately going to cause lots of issues for hippie though let's get back into our normal position purchase of an f-15 eagle at the back there i did wonder if we'd see a very early purchase slash an off the bat purchase of an f-15 judging by how little was on the floor here Good shout to call that in. Tornado did come in to go for that Apache, but there's a Thunderbolt in as well. There's an F-15 coming in. That Tornado needs to get the hell out of there. Two aircraft purchases early there for Fantex. He's going for air superiority. Obviously, those Javelin LMLs are arriving. Oh, that Eagle is almost dead. That is a very, very lucky Eagle. Tornado's coming back around for another pass. And he got the kill on the Eagle. That is a nasty loss straight away for Fantix. Losing that to a Tornado. Tornado takes a shot at the Thunderbolt as well. Does do some serious damage. Tornado gets the kill on the uh, Chopper as Wow. I have never seen a Tornado perform that well. It got a kill on the F-15. It got a shot off on the Thunderbolt. And it managed to kill the Chopper. The Apache is down. That was an absolutely outstanding play by that Tornado. Hippie makes it into the town. This is really good news for him. Obviously, I mean, immediately kills the vehicle there. The recon vehicle instantly gets popped by a tank. Abrams here, obviously a big problem. But he is conning in gun groups. He does have the rifles there. The rifles do have the law 80. Law 80 being 20 penetration can do damage. Abrams is taking fire. You will notice it has taken a bit of damage from that chieftain. But the chieftain is obviously in a bad position. Needs to repair and rearm. SAS patrol moving up here. Very good squad. Obviously the engineer squad are pretty big. But the SAS patrol have already made them route. Look at that. SAS patrol obviously ranked up a bit. Engineers not ranked up. Abrams gets the kill on that tank, unsurprisingly. I mean, that was just bound to happen. The uh, Chieftain Mark 9 is not comparable. Helarm is being called in, though, to try and deal with that tank. That is a really good shout. There isn't any AA here at the moment. A Chaparral is on the way in. Scout going up to the top of the map here. Good positioning of a sniper there. We'll be giving good eyes on. Yeah, all the way across the front of there, look. 
Very little movement at the top there. No one really calling in reinforcements. Oh, I tell a lie. Look at this. Surprisingly, we're seeing Hippie call in some gun groups and SAS patrol. And those warrior Milans to the top there. He may be thinking about pushing that at some point. Obviously, at the moment, this is a problem. He's smoking at the back there. I think that's to cause issues for the Abrams. Fox moving around here, doing some damage. That Fox really did get around the back for Hippie there. At the moment, it looks like Fantix is sort of winning out because of the tank and the tank meta and how strong the tanks are right now. That Hell Arm really needs to get a kill here. But... The Stinger has arrived. The Fox may be able to kill the Stinger, but the tank is going for the Fox, so this isn't going to work out well. That Fox needs to get out of there. That Fox is in serious danger. He's the Hell Arm. Oh, it, it was trying to go for that, I think. It needs to hit the tank. It can't see it. It needs to see the tank. Can that Hell Arm see down that road? Yes, it's now in range of the tank. It needs to fire that tank before it gets hit by the Stinger. Missile is away. Tank is surely still visible. Oh, it's not anymore. Lost eyes on. That's a shame. Chieftain Mark 9 is coming in, though. Hippie has managed to maintain a bit of control there. Challenger Mark 2 en route. That's what he needs. He needs a Challenger to be able to deal with that M1A1. M1A1 command tank coming in for Fantix at the bottom. They're currently plus 2 to Hippie. He's in a good position right now. But that command will change it. But a nice advantage in points right now, at least. More engineers coming in. More scouts coming in for the center there. Obviously, Fantix fearing that Hippie might try and push through the middle. Hippie has a good number of forces in here. Chieftain Mark 9 is moving up. Gets a nice hit on that. Oh, that is not good for the Abrams. Abrams will be repaired, though. Another supply called in. He's the push. He's going for that tank. And, I mean, he's got, he's up against engineers and a stinger. He 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 will easily defeat these. The warrior Milans will just annihilate these things. M1A1's command tank has arrived. That's really good. He needs to get in there and kill his tank before it gets repaired. And he doesn't realise that that's going on, obviously. That's such a shame because he could have had that tank. If he just charged forward, but he doesn't know what infantry is there. And obviously the command tank has arrived now. Really need that challenger up here to contest that. Loads more infantry being called in now. Abrams coming in at the top. Interesting. Obviously there is a move here. I missed it. Hippie is on the move. M150 with a tow launch. It goes down. Chieftain pushing hard. That command is either running or it's dead. And there it goes running. SAS Patrol can just perhaps see the edge of that. Chieftain's going for it. There is a fight team AT4 there that's going to kill this Chieftain, though. Yeah. But the command is down. The command is down. This point goes to Hippie. Back to plus two. What's happening at the bottom in the meantime? Challenger has arrived, annihilating those engineers from range. Unfortunately, the Abrams is repaired enough to have killed everything at the front, but the Challenger is pushing up. Needs to get into a tree line. Another challenger is arriving. He needs to keep that challenger alive while the other one comes in. AT Thunderbolt back in action. Will want a piece of that challenger. But look at this. Hippie in a good position at the top right now. Currently plus two. Racking up those points. Apache coming in again for Fantix at the top there. Not much AA up at the top. Tornado coming back in. It wants a piece of that Thunderbolt. It's getting a piece. Can he get the kill? It does, it gets the kill. Tornado, absolutely wrecking face. Oh, is it going to die? It doesn't, it is out alive past that chaparral. Tornado is well on its way to MVP. What is it doing here? It is evacuating, but it's getting very close to those air defences again. Fighting Force somehow still alive. Chieftain Mark 9 badly damaged. Gun groups engaging on it. Surely, yeah, I was going to say it has to die. What is that nonsense? Supply is being moved up, hopefully to repair. Yes. Lots of reinforcements in here now for Fantix, though. More assault pioneers and things coming in. Some rifles coming in. Challenger Mark 2s pushing quite hard here. He does need to be careful. There isn't Abrams at this side. Oh, gets a kill on the assault pioneers vehicle. I mean, really, he wants a kill on that command tank. 
Good hit. Took a hit from the dragons, but they're not too scary. He needs another hit on that command tank. The other Abrams is pushing up from the side there, though. Good eyes on the back challenger. Back challenger is badly damaged. It's probably going to die here. The other challenger is probably going to die as well. Oh, no. Abrams does manage to shield itself. Interesting. He's pushing it up, though. Yep, yeah, it's going for the kill. Can probably get the kill. Oh! One pip of health left for that challenger. The Bradley's moving in to kill it. Well, at least he got an exchange. He took out one of the M1A1s. I expect we'll see some more called in very shortly. This Abrams up here causing problems. Has managed to finish off the tank that was up there by the looks of it. So this was an exchange at least, but he needs to keep that Challenger Mark II alive. If that Challenger Mark II goes down, it's been a waste because there's still a command tank there. But currently plus four to Hippie. Massive lead in points right now. Hippie just needs to be really careful with his tanks at the moment. If he can do that, he's won this game. He just needs to keep everything alive and keep Fantix at bay. He can't let Fantix back into the points. Fantix has a lot of units in here. He's got more infantry coming in, but right now it does feel like he needs more tanks. That challenge is still engaging. It's dead. Yeah, I was going to say the Abrams got it or the Bradley was going to get it. One pip of health. Maybe he felt he had no other choice than to just engage at the moment to stop that point falling completely. H.A. Abrams coming in now, obviously the big bad boy. Lots of gazelle rockets coming in. I mean, he might clear up some stuff in the middle and the top. I mean, if he used that at the top right now, he could kill that Abrams. I'm pretty sure he could kill that Abrams. The Hell Arm's coming in to try and do that anyway. Tornado coming in, going for... Did he do a strafing run, I think, there? There was an Apache that was brought in somewhere, but I assume that's already dead. I didn't even see it go down. But some really good pushing here. If he can get on top of that... He's got this side. He could probably take Foxtrot. There is only just now a Chaparral and a Stinger coming in. Because of that Hell Arm being there. Unfortunately, he's got a problem with the Bradleys just sitting here. And he can't clear it. The Rockets should clear it. I'm just concerned about that Chaparral coming in. Tornado's trying to do strafing runs. Hell Arm here. Wanting to get a piece again of tanks if he can see any. That command tank isn't in the best position. If he can get recon on it, he can probably shoot at it. Abrams is being pushed really far back here. Hell Arm is getting kills or trying to get kills on these vehicles. Already nearly out of missiles though. Not the most accurate. Tornado still flittering around there. He's missing every shot there. What the heck is going on? 60% accuracy and he's missed all those shots on that Bradley finally gets the kill that's got to be disappointing right rockets here engaging a little bit hell arm being pulled back as it has taken fire gazelle rockets here done a bit of damage but fanix has a good push going on here there's a chieftain two chieftain mark nines on the way in i mean they just don't pose enough of a threat to the abrams though Especially a HA. Obviously, poor hippie doesn't realise that the HA is on the way in, I don't think. This is will be a rude awakening, I imagine. It's never pleasant when one of those turns up. It's a bit like a T-80 U turning up. Akav here getting some good shots off on these gun groups. No anti-tank here to deal with that. Gun group and a warrior Milan engaging from range here. But here these tanks are just pushing up. And I mean, it's the tank meta right now. If you don't have your own big heavy tanks to fight these heavy tanks, it's really hard to stop them. And obviously losing both of the challenges is an issue. Plus, look at them at the back here. They're just completely unscathed by what's going on right now. Up at the top... Bit of a defensive force there for Fantix. Currently still plus two. Hippie's 
12 minutes from a win, or 13 minutes, I should say. Still hasn't cleared out that fire team AT4, though. He's got nothing there to kill them. He's having to focus everything down here. He's rearmed those uh, attack choppers, but the problem is they're not the best attack choppers. I think he's managed to kill the anti air that was here, except the pivads. I can't see. He's got a stinger there, but that's it. He's actually moving these up to the top now. There is a push coming here. He does have a pivads there. Interestingly, the chaparral at the top's gone as well. He's bringing in some stingers now. So something killed the chaparral that was coming in up there, unless it was redirected to the bottom, which is also potentially... I don't know if that died or not. Chieftains have arrived. One of them's already badly damaged. I mean, the chieftains do not stand the chance against that thing at range. He's managed to hold on to this area with his command in. Fanic's now pushing up, though. And he's only got gun groups in there. He doesn't have anti-tank. Chieftain has a chance of defending this area. There's a Challenger Mark II coming in. Hallelujah. Rover, Milan, Chieftain Mark IX at the top there. Obviously, Fanex is pushing back in here using that Abrams. I mean, it's right now these big Abrams, these big T-80s and stuff just don't have much to fear unless the challengers come in. And there is one challenger on the way. But it's sort of stuck in the open. It's not got cover to fall back into. And this HA is just pushing up in here. He must know there's no anti-tank there. Completely unfazed. Chieftain doesn't get a good hit. Fantix back in the top point. Not with a command yet, though. There is one on the way. Challenger Mark II caught out in the open like that is susceptible to the Tor 2 launcher from the Bradley. Abrams here just marching through without a care in the world, unfortunately. Another Challenger being called in. You'd need a couple of squads of rifles to be able to take this out. And unfortunately, there's only gun groups here. They're only anti-infantry. Milan Parrot getting a shot off on this. Does get a hit. Does three points of damage. It's not enough. Challenger moving in to try and engage. It has smoked itself there. HE Bomber coming in. Drops its bombs. Oh, beautiful. The HE Bomber went down, but it got its kill. Still plus two to Hippie. But that's what Hippie needed. He needed that tank dead. The HA down is a big loss for Fantix right now. He's going to be relying on that command tank to fight the Challenger. The Challenger manages to take out the Bradley. The Challenger will now retreat. Chief to Mark 9 is moving in. Chief to Mark 9 isn't really a big threat to that. Oh, I'm worried about that. Abrams getting a side shot on that Challenger. It's actually retreating. Okay, that's good news. That is good news for Hippie. Up at the top, he has managed to get his command back in, so it's all neutralized. But right now, Hippie slightly in the lead. He needs to kill that Abrams up there as well. Chieftain is unfortunately down, but gets a really good hit on that M1, A1 Abrams. Something just needs to pop that. But there isn't any anti-tank there to pop it. The Milan Parrot up there, maybe. Challenger Mark II is going for repairs. But Fantix is wrestling control of that bottom point. Another M1A1 Abrams has arrived. Gazelle rockets coming down. But unfortunately, that Chaparral is there. Another Chaparral coming in at the bottom. Fire Team Law coming in. Right now, it just feels like Fantix has so many more units available on the map. And unfortunately, these Gazelle rockets will die in one hit. And if they're all clustered together, you know, he might get a couple of them in one hit. Chieftain Mark 9 taking fire from the dragons. Smoke going down back here. Abrams is being pushed up. That's the mortar trying to smoke that corner. The command vehicle was killed. The rover is coming in for that top corner though. Currently it is plus two to Fantix. Fantix. 
Another Abrams arriving at the top there. The other one is back and repairing. And this is one of the things, unfortunately, Fanex has been able to repair his tanks quite a few times. So he's salvaging them. Hippie managed to get this one repaired at least, though. Challenger Mark II that's coming in down here, taking fire from those dragons. Unfortunately, I don't think can see them either. Nope. There's no recon down there. That command is almost into that corner to neutralize again. We might see an artillery piece come in. Another H.A. Abrams is coming in. Abrams here pushing this side. I mean, that there's nothing protecting that. He's about to lose the top point as well, unfortunately. Tornado's coming in. Strafing runs on those ground targets. Really good strafing runs, but we'll take fire from the Stingers. HE Bomber coming in here, going straight for that corner. Yeah. Carpet bombing. CV will be in trouble. Oh, that is very lucky for Hippie. Can I just say, that was beautifully avoided. I genuinely thought those bombs were going to be in line with the road and smash it. Well done, Hippie. Uh, I think he lost a Challenger Mark II. He did. The Challenger Mark II pushed in there. Chieftain again got smashed. There's two Abrams at the front here. There's another one on the way in there. HE Bomber coming in here. Going for the fire team. Has veered off though at the last minute. I mean, credit to Hippie. He's managed to just hold on here. But he's got to hold on for another 19 minutes. And he's lost a lot of tanks. He has managed to kill another of... He's lost the bomber, but he did manage to kill another M1A1 up at the top. But Fanex is calling stuff in there now. Chieftain Mark 9 heading into the top there to help defend. And all he's got to do is defend. He's just got to hold smoke going down in this area. Really important to protect that corner. Obviously, there will be more bombers or artillery or something coming from Fantix to take out that corner. But, you know, Fantix definitely has more on the field right now. That doesn't matter. If he has a big points lead, he just needs to hold. It's not an easy job to do that, though, if you've got less. Especially when it's all about these tanks right now. Nice. The Milan Power got a good kill. Challenger Mark II taking fire from the Abrams. Abrams takes fire. Challenger needs to repair. Fire Team Law pushing up. HA pushing around to get a shot on that Challenger. Can't quite get the angle on it. Fire Team Law should die here. Oh, Abrams going to get side shot. Oh, so close. So close to getting side shot. That would have been really painful. Oh, he's firing again. Can he still see it? Oh! That was beautiful! Rover Milan Para. MVP purely for that kill. Beautiful side shot on the M1 A1 HA Abrams. I mean, that was just beautiful. Hippie will be absolutely delighted with that. That's another H.A. Abrams taken out. He's managed to take out two so far. If nothing else, you know, you get a pat on the back for managing to kill two of those in a game, even if you're not going to win. But never say never. All Hippie has to do is hold to get this win. I can't imagine he's going to be able to push back hard, but I think he can potentially hold this right now. It's more about what happens up here. That Abrams is pushing up again. Akav gets a kill on the Chieftain. Challenger Mark II coming into the top to assist though. Really good shout. Beautiful hit by the rifles there. Doing some serious damage to that Abrams. Rifles are taking fire from the Akav and the tank. Probably need to retreat out. That command vehicle still safe up there. This corner. Challenger Mark II has been repaired. Pushing out to do some more damage. 
Dragon is getting a shot off on it though. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage. It's just more like harassment. Artillery piece is in as I expected. Fantix might do to just hit that back corner. Has managed to get a kill on the command vehicle there. It will need to be a command tank in that corner. Currently plus two to Fantix. 15 minutes left of this game. He needs 23 minutes to win. But he will overtake in points in that time. So this is going to be tight. I'm expecting to see a command tank come in for Hippie. If he doesn't have one in the deck, he could be in trouble here. Could he push back at the top? Very potentially. He does have the Challenger up there now. The M1A1 has been pulled back badly damaged. It's not currently getting repaired. If Hippie is pretty aggressive here, he could probably kill that. There's nothing there that can stop that Challenger Mark II right now, except for that tank, and it is badly damaged. It's, it's being pulled back to get that repair now. If Hippie is aggressive here, he could take back that point. Because he's lost the bottom point. His Challenger Mark II has been killed down here. He's rerouting stuff to that top point. He has to take it back. And then he has to find a way to defend this. Milan powers are in position. But there's a lot of forces in here for Fantix. This is turning into one hell of a tense game, by the way. Another H.A. Abrams coming in. Currently heading up to here. Oh, Hippie hasn't pushed this point. He doesn't know what's there. He doesn't have recon down at the bottom here. He's got the snipers here, which can sort of see there. And he's got the snipers here, which can see at the back there. He can see the Abrams at the back, badly damaged. And he is dropping those mortars on it to stop it repairing. But he needs to try and get in their face. He just doesn't know what's in that tree line though. No command tank called in yet. Assault Pioneer command called in for the top here. Just in case that rover goes down. Supply chopper has been sold. Still mortars going down on that. He just has nothing to get the final blow. There's two pivads there as well. Stopping those choppers at progressing. M1A1 in the middle there. Engaging on that. Chieftain. Chieftain is dead. It lost its engine. 20 minutes to the victory. 13 minutes and a bit left of the game. H.A. Abrams coming in at the top there. H.A. Abrams pushing in. I mean, this is all the big tanks now. And I'm just not sure Hippie has an answer to this. It could be like a domino effect if he loses his challenger at the front there. Glancing blow for the challenger on the Abrams. Abrams misses the challenger. Now gets a hit. They hit each other, but the Abrams is just sat there. They're both missing each other at the moment. Surprisingly. Bailed out! Bailed out! That is a bad dice roll. That is a bad dice roll for Fantix. Other HA is pushing in to try and get shots on from the top there. Challenger may finish the job. I mean, he's not getting good hits here. Abrams is pushing in to get the kill. The Chieftain coming in. Has the challenger realized that chieftain's there? Oh, the Ch Abrams is there, sorry. I don't think so. Abrams coming in for a hit. Smoke goes down. Challenger saved. It's pulled back. But that... HA is in trouble. Abrams pushing up from down here. Chieftain Mark 9 getting shots off up here on these infantry. Challenger Mark II is almost at the front. He really needs a repair on this one. Gets a kill on... Oh, this is in trouble. He's just going for it. Beautiful hit. Returns a beautiful hit, but the Abrams will fire again sooner. Gets the kill. Supply coming in to repair that HA. And unfortunately, there's no control here. Abram pushing up here. The challenger, you would hope, will get a kill on this. Not quite. Gets a good hit. Smoke goes down the Abrams. Strafing runs on the units there. 
Still plus two, 18 minutes to victory. Hippie is hanging on in there. Tornado comes in. Still hasn't been taken out by the Eagle. Facing more threat from the ground. Eagle is coming around for another pass. Eagle finishes the job. Without taking any hits this time. Abrams pushing up really hard here. Unfortunately, is facing off against Rifles. The Rifles doing a good job. This Abrams is almost dead. Depends who gets the shot off first here. That Abrams is back in action. The HA is back in action. Does he know what, uh, that Abrams is still there? He does. He's turning to fire at it. Gets the kill. We'll be going potentially for one of these tanks. Pushing up to the top. Needs to be careful about that HA Abrams, which is back in action. Two Chieftain Mark 9s pushing in here, going into this forest. Will be susceptible to the two HAs that are here now. More chieftains coming in here. Milan Paris coming in as well. <sighs> Challenger Mark II takes a side shot from the M1 HA and is destroyed. Scout's getting a lovely angle on that somehow. Can't really see through the rest, but has a perfect shot through that middle bit, apparently. Look at the look at the line of sight on that. So bizarre. Can't really see through these tree leaves, but can see straight through that bit. So weird. Mortar smoking back there. Protecting the command going in. If only he had a command for the bottom as well. Nine minutes left of the game. Still plus two for Fantix. If only Hippie could get a kill on this command. If only. Chieftain's being taken out by those two HAs. I mean, the Chieftains don't stand a chance here. The HAs are just going to mince them. Take out another one on the road. Fire is returned. Glancing blow. A little bit of damage done. I mean, you're talking about taking like a damage off the front of these tanks one at a time. Spartans getting some shots off here. A little bit more effective than the Chieftains. Smoke goes down. They will get repaired immediately, though. Another M1 coming in here. Supply destroyed by the Spartan there. There's a Milan 2 team as well. Apache is now in play. Going after these tanks. Beautiful side shot. Command vehicle is dead. But the command infantry survive in the smoke. Command Sultan moving down to the bottom here. Would like to get in there. Gun group taking fire from the dragons. Really needs to deploy. Oh, this is a tense game. Hippie is really hanging on in there. Hey, Chase. Still getting repaired. Another Abrams getting repaired. This getting shot at. Is taking fire from the Milans, but is firing back at the Milans. HA is back in action. I mean, it's just a wall of tanks now. Loads of gun groups in Warrior Milans coming in there. These Milans pushing up, trying to get a kill on that command tank. Not succeeding. Oh, almost! They're both out of missiles. So close and yet so far. Sultan just driving on in there, hoping to get a quick cap, but the dragons will probably kill it. I think this is a last-ditch attempt. Oh, he smoked it. That is so close to being dead, that command tank. If only he could get another shot off, or a bomber on it, or something. Warrior Milan gun groups coming in. Eagle coming in. That hell arm doing some serious damage to these tanks up here, but it's not going to be enough one hell arm. It's also now damaged badly. Which is probably the bigger issue. Pioneer Commander being engaged by those pivads, dancing around in the smoke. 
Apache coming in for them as well. Command vehicle has been destroyed here. Oh, hippie. This was such a valiant, valiant effort. But the tank meta wins again. Keeping the tanks alive as much as you can. Command tank pulled back here. Lots of smoke going down on that corner. There's no command to go there. HA is coming around the back now. Twelve minutes to the victory. Five minutes left of the game, or six minutes, I guess. Near enough. Lots of scouts in choppers. With Lore 80s coming in there. I don't know where he's going with them. Maybe coming in to try and protect this command, which is still dancing around. Tornado coming in here. Probably wanting to do more strafing runs. Command tank on the move to the front again here. Oh, he's going straight up this road. That Milan para, if it gets eyes on, should get a kill. Should get a kill. Oh, it's not going to. It's going to be busy firing at these things, so that'll get redirected. Because once it kills some of these... Or misses them, as the case may be. Thunderbolt coming in at the top there, going for the tornado. Assault Pioneer still just hanging on in there. Taking a lot of fire, though. Thunderbolt takes a shot. Gun groups here doing a good job. Milan Para gets a good hit there. The command tank that was already damaged has been stopped. Thunderbolt goes down. This is a mad dash to this corner to try and kill that command. That's what this is. If he can land there... Yeah, there they go. He doesn't care if they get shot down. He just needs a couple of them to survive. He has gained control of this point completely, though. And the Mutt CV is just running away now to the middle of the point. And there is the surrender. Commiserations, hippie. That was incredibly hard fought. Obviously, a big difference in kills to losses there by the end of the game. Let's have a quick look. Tanks doing a very... I mean, it's just tanks getting kill after kill after kill. Uh, Stinger did a good job. Apache did a reasonably good job there. That's pretty good. Plenty of kills. A tornado was doing amazing at the start of the game. I mean, MVP goes to the tornado and the Apache. Simple as that. Tornado and the Apache. Apache did a really good job there. No question about it. And that tornado did an exceptionally good job at the start. Look at all the kills it got. It even got an eagle. Really good game, guys. Really stressful, tense game throughout the middle there. Unfortunately, just that domino effect with the tanks eventually just pushed Hippie over the edge, sadly. But really well played, guys. Exceptionally well defended for that Hippie. Exceptionally well defended. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for some more Warner.